Get inside and lock your doors. Close your windows. There's something in the fog. I wanted to make a film about uh, the fog as a, as a character, as a force of evil. But I think it boils down to a horror film in the end. Um, horror films have traditionally been uh, good at the box office, so that's one thing. But also, I enjoy making people jump. I think it's purely instinct uh, to, uh, to know what's going to be scary when you're writing a screenplay. Um, I, my background is a love of um, features like um, The Thing and uh, uh, Tarantula and all those horror films of the 50s. And uh, from watching them as a child and growing up with them and reading a lot of Edgar Allan Poe and uh, those kinds of films, those kinds of uh, books, I've learned to love horror and instinctually I know when something is going to be scary. Suspense is the anticipation what's going to happen which builds the fear. I mean, you're afraid of the suspense because you're afraid that something's gonna move all of a sudden and you know it's gonna move and when it does, you But that's, that's a, a, a wonderful talent to be able to, uh, to create that on the screen and um, obviously Mr. Hitchcock is, has been a master of that for a long time and I think that uh, John does that beautifully. John wrote and directed a film for television, which was originally entitled High Rise, and then when it aired was called Someone is Watching Me. And he had never met me, but he had seen me, and so he wrote a role with me in mind. Called me in and asked me if I'd be interested in doing it. I read the script and thought it was the best television movie script I'd ever read. So we started working together and uh, became friends and onward. <laughs> and so we had had an, a working experience prior to The Fog. But The Fog was the first time we had worked together as romantic, romantically involved couple. And we made a great attempt to be very professional. Hey. What? The lights went out. Everything's going crazy. Barometers falling, temperatures dropping. Then what is it? What the hell's that? Then what is it? What's happening? What is it? This has got to be a joke. Someone's at the front door, sweetheart, playing a stupid joke. And whoever it is, they ain't gonna like finding me home. Dan, stay away from the door! Anybody here? In a horror film, you, you start out usually very normal, like a normal person, and you end up being a terrorized individual, and everything in between there. So you have all this range to play. You go from sad to happy, crying, hysterical, your smarts come back in, determination, bravery and all those things come into a horror film if you're the person who inevitably gets terrorized so it, it enables you to show your stuff in a very broad sense i wasn't sure if i would approach uh working with janie as as a mother or as a fellow actress um i i didn't know what my reaction would be i, I you know i wasn't sure if i would um be a mother and go oh no janie oh mm, no mm, you know or and or whether i would just be an actress and do a give and take as actresses and actors do. My mom and I don't really work together in this film, which I much t must tell you I prefer it because it's very easy to put us together as a mother-daughter and make it a package deal in quite a few films and we've been offered little parts here and there, mother and daughter. I would much rather work with her maybe in a film, but I'd rather save that one time that we worked together for a really terrific project. And I wanted it to be something that was different than Halloween in the sense that it, it didn't have as much overt violence in it. It wasn't as, as uh, straightforward as a guy with a knife coming after someone. 
and I think that we could get the same kind of response, the highs and the lows and the roller coaster ride that I think Halloween provides. And the fog, uh, fog's not exactly a roller coaster ride, it's more like the whip. <laughs> First of all, we have to make something which is scary anyway, which is fog, driving through fog and through rain, that kind of, that's scary. But people don't uh, associate it with ghosts or horror, and, and the fog became a character. We had to um, give it a color. Uh, we had to give it life, and that's what the glowing is. I think the primary reason I'm making movies is to get a response from the audience, is to get the audience to go with me down whatever path I'm trying to take them, whether it's to make them laugh or to thrill them or just make them jump. That's really why I'm doing it. Everyone wants to know about Psycho. And um, so it did have a tremendous effect. The effect, in fact, uh, even on the people who made it, because I still cannot take a shower. And it's true, I know everybody says, oh, come on. I personally don't like horror films. I am um, a chicken. I do this. I, I usually have somebody go with me and tell me when the frightening parts are coming. We s shot a scene in the fog in which I am on top of the, of the lighthouse and the ghosts are after me. It was physically demanding only uh, because it was a, uh, the incline of the lighthouse was very steep. It was a, a difficult thing just to keep climbing up there. By the end of that day, into the next day, I felt like someone had pulled my arm out of my socket. I'd ruined my boots, ruined my hands, black and blue. But I enjoy that kind of thing. I don't mind it at all. For me, in the fog, at least, there was a great deal of emphasis placed on lighting and really getting the right angles and making me look as good as possible. I had a, it was a wonderful crew. They took such good care of us. And in television, of course, it's just in and out, very fast. I'm conscious of the press, but I don't make movies for them. I don't make movies to get good reviews. I, don't, I think that's dangerous. Thank you. 